here's a handy little adaptation of double knitting. So this is a regularly sing single knit hat top and I decided to finish it with a long extension on just a few stitches. But this is a bit of a pain working in the round, even with circs or using magic loop. So what I'm going to do is combine all the stitches and put two halves, half on each needle. So that's one half of the stitches. And I'm going to amalgamate those ones. So now I've got my stitches equally divided on two needles. And there's my start of round. Now I'm going to set these up into double knit format. So I'm going to take the near stitch first and the far stitch second and keep on alternating the two, two layers of stitches onto one needle. Trying not to drop them off. Near, far, near, far. Now that I have my two layers alternating on one needle, uh, I'm going to start with my next colour, which is going to be the turquoise. And I'm going to knit the near layer stitches and slip the far ones with the yarn in front. So knit, slip with yarn in front. So this is single yarn double knitting and I'm going to knit a tube. I'll work this first across the near layer of the stitches and turn the work round and do the other side. I've worked all the near layer stitches and I finish by slipping a stitch with the yarn in front. Turn the work around and now I can do the ones I missed out last time. And then I will have knit an entire circle. So this is a great way to speed up glove fingers. The thing to remember though is your gauge will change. Even if you were doing stocking stitch before and you're doing stocking stitch now in double knitting, the fact that the yarn gets carried across an intervening stitch puts a little bit more yarn in each stitch. So double knitting tends to give a looser gauge or double knit stocking stitch with the same yarn and needles is looser than with the same yarn and needles working it single. So I have now done one round of turquoise stitches and you can see that it is a lot more fluid than working on any of the circular methods. So I'm going to continue that now for three rounds. Now this is a stocking stitch section. If I'd wanted to make my whole tube reverse stocking stitch, I would have placed my stitches on the needle slightly differently. I would have put the far stitch on the needle first. But when I want to make reverse stocking stitch, I purl the near layer stitches and slip the far ones. Purl and slip. And with a little practice, I can combine the slipping and the purling into one action. And I call that a slip pearl. So you go into both, you withdraw the tip of the left needle till the one that needs to be slipped falls off. It takes a bit of practice, but it really speeds it up. But I would set my stitches up differently. I am using unconventional pearl here. There we go. Now, if I want to return to regular knitting in the round, at any time I wish, I can take two receiving needles and take separate the two layers onto two different needles. And there's our regular circle of knitting again.